Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm James Rose and this is the series with the confusing name, Third Rome. So, last time we left off, we were down here fighting with the Venetians in an attempt to take these two provinces. Uh, so that we can hopefully get a, um, basically a land bridge between us and the Papal State. So that hopefully in the future, we can invade the Papal State and take all they own for ourselves. Um, the only problem being that our navy got smashed by the Venetians, which I wasn't expecting considering we had twice as many galleys as they did. Um, however, I guess that's the difference between having a quality navy and just some floating wood on the, on the water. But hey, we, uh, we don't even have ticking war score. So we ideally need Venice to get out of their other war so we can conquer more of their territory. Norwegian, oh of course the Norwegians rise up on some crappy little island that I can't easily take care of. Just typical. We're going to have to use more of our naval force limit and build transports I think. We may even actually build some buildings to up our naval force limit, although I'm a bit against that. <laughs> okay, guys. Sure, whatever you say, Portugal. Apparently, that something to do with sugar is important. Okay, guys, I need some men over here. And also, I can do that. We can now become a Republican dictatorship if we so wish. Which we do not. For we are a monarchy. The best type of government form in the game currently. Congrats Bohemia, you've been elected into the HRE again. I mean, the HRE could look better, but it could also look a lot worse to be fair. The coalition is falling apart and apparently um, these guys have actually decided to move straight over here. So chances are we're not going to win this battle. Some horses supported by cannons is not a good force. And so they're all going to die. I think all we can really do right now is just wait for the rebels that have appeared to teleport to different parts of our territory where we will then deal with them. Okay. Venice, can you like put some men somewhere where I can kill them so that... Can I get my men over here? No. Aurora is attacking Chagatai. That means Chagatai is probably going to cease to exist now. You know what, in the meantime, who are you allied to? I'm not fighting Aragon. <laughs> not over Bosnia. Bosnia is not worth it. In fact, can I do this while I'm at war? I can, however, Aragon won't agree to it. They have too much trust towards Bosnia. Bosnia is the most trustworthy of their allies, and therefore, how could they possibly betray them? Finland's about to cease to exist. Not that Finland ever really existed, if you follow that sort of thing. But Come on, Venice, give up. You clearly are not going to achieve anything in this war. Unfortunately, there sh uh, how many galleys do they have? 20. If I were to bring my galleys from up here down, would that actually be helpful? Finland is gone and manufactories now exist. And by exist, I mean people have acknowledged them. Because if people don't acknowledge things, then they don't exist. Oh, this is annoying. I can't. Re I don't really want to deal with the peasants right now, so I guess I'll take the patriarchal authority hit. Um, I was going to do something. I completely forgot what it was now because of that event. Hey, perfect. That was the perfect place for you to teleport to, rebels. You couldn't have chosen better. Okay, you guys. 
Are you guys still on the boat? No, there's combat for a few off. Okay, come over here. At some point, we probably should build a proper navy. The problem is currently we're not really making enough money to afford to pay for a proper navy. By proper, I mean like heavies and transports rather than just a butt ton of galleys. So right, that's now an official um, measurement, a butt ton. That's now how we will measure everything within the Russian Empire in various degrees of butt ton. Okay, we can bring these guys up to some sort of strength. And then they can go somewhere more useful. Come on, Venice, give me what I want. There's no point trying to fight me. Futile in the end. Where are you going to? Romsdal. Romsdal is here. Persia is fighting themselves. Not a bad thing for us to see. Our absolutism is looking pretty good. What is our current... Why am I looking? Sure. Um, I am looking for this. Administrative efficiency. 31%. Pretty darn good. Considering at this point in the game, you should only have 20 in previous patches before absolutism came out. All I want is two territories, Venice. Just give them to me. There's no point in resisting any longer. Oh, hey. Ha, ah, I finished his war. Okay. How many cannons do I have knocking about over here? You go there. You go there. You go there. You go there. Uh, he also has a piece of territory there. Can you get to it? No. When this fort falls, that should be the end of the war. Castile has declared war on Norway. Good luck, Castile. You're going to need it to fight Norway. They're pretty dangerous. Okay, the other rebels have moved. So we can now have these guys come up here. onto that. And you break down the walls. Hungarian separatists. Sure. It's not like I need my mill points right now. We've got 10 years until we need our mill points. Uh, so instead we can spend our mill points to get the most important value in the game now, absolutism up. I don't know. That's I, I don't think it probably... It's probably is not the most important value in the game. Clearly the most important value in the game is your aggressive expansion, which essentially translates into your score. You can see here I have a score of 458 here with the Ottomans. And they love us because of it. Go on. Go on, fall. You can do it. God damn it. I'm tempted just to attack it, but... Then again, I'm almost at man power limit. Cap thingy. How many men can I send to their deaths? 20,000. I need another three. Ready? Assault the fort. Kill them all. 
You can do it, I believe. I mean, you're not doing very well, but you can do it. Go on. Fight harder. You're almost there. Okay, we gave up. Try again. Nope, that didn't last very long. Okay. <laughs> that was a waste of five mil points. And five mil points is so incredibly important. We shouldn't be doing that. Can we fall now? Come on. Come on, no one wants to live in hum. Just leave. Or become part of the Russian Empire. There you go. You know what you're doing. Okay, so they will give us what we want. Will they give us a bit more? Yes, or this? No. Okay, we'll just take this for now then. And some of their money. There we go. Thank you, Venice. And now we have a direct line to attack the Papal State later on. Uh, for now, we want to leave... We'll leave these two here. Um, and everyone else is going to come down here and border the Ottomans. Because we need to fight the Otto Turk. Uh, you... Oh, bugger. Let me do that. Try this again. Want some men here, which are going to be you guys. I want some men here. And I want the special one here. Okay. Everyone knows their positions. Good. Kappa. Give me military access. You will. Excellent. I have space, so I'll just grab it now. Um, with military access, we can get to the Ottomans. Egypt. Ottoman Egypt. And with that, we should be able to take everything we need here. And by that, I mean their coastline and whatever else we can get up to 100 war score. Oh, we killed some peasants. We killed some of Persia's peasants. Oh, look at you, Persia. You didn't have to fight all your own peasants. It must be difficult wearing those weird hats. Like, that can't be a comfortable thing, having all that on top of your head. Austrian separatists. So that's why I've left. 50 odd thousand men there. Current force limit, I'm three below it. You guys. Get three more men. And we also have our guys up in Norway. Although we haven't managed to convert Norway yet. So it's not safe to bring our men home yet. Where is one of these and how long is the blooming. That's orthodox. That's orthodox. Where are the bits I can't convert? Is it not these? Let's have a look at... Oh no, I can't look at the unrest map mode because I've already killed all the rebels. Ah, it doesn't matter. We'll be alright with the men we have down here. If, they, if this amount of men is not enough to beat the Ottomans, then we wouldn't have beaten them in the first place. What we don't need is the men over in Persia anymore, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Otto Derp. Who are you allied to? Cyprus. Cyprus will get annexed as well then. Oops. Otto Derp, to war. Okay, let me see. We've got a level 3 fort here. We've got a level 2 fort there. We've got a level 2 fort there. So, where are cannons? We have 16,000 there. We don't need that many. I'm going to disattach them. Send him there. Then we have nine. Uh, that makes ten. So, you guys, you guys, and you there. You can bring down a random leader. Um, you just go and occupy stuff. Okay, how many Ottoman warriors are we facing here? Not a lot. Cyprus has almost as many as them. I mean, I don't think anyone ever chooses fort defense here, so being able to do extra defense isn't really helpful. What is it that we actually have that did that? Oh, probably tactical genius. Okay, this should be a quick and dirty war against the Otto Turk here.
There are 20,000 men here. Come down here. Also, one thing I should get done. I'm going to bring this guy over to, to Sargrad. And... Actually, I don't want to build myself some more things just yet. Because we have this. I could do with the inflation down. Can you go here? The answer to that appears to be no. But the game may just be being silly. Austrian separatist. Easy to deal with. Put this guy in charge. Deal. Go and deal, man. You stay where you are. You go there, you go here. Okay, so soon we should be getting ourselves quite a few more missionaries. We'll try and conquer Mecca as well. That shouldn't be an issue. You can go. Uh, do we just need Mecca or do we need Mecca and the other one? Conquest of Mecca. Just Mecca. Okay, which is there. Which is owned by Kaffa, which is perfect, because we're going to have to attack Kaffa for Jerusalem. Now, we will probably want to go to war with Yemen, so that we can connect our lands up. So that's going to be one for Jerusalem, one for Mecca. We'll get one when we take Rome, and that will restore the Pentarchy, which will give us another missionary. And at that point, converting stuff will be so easy. We won't even need to try. Also, why do I have so many men sat in this province? Can we select all of them, please? I appear to have accidentally sent two stacks here. Let's... Go and take half of you and one of you and go there. Who's going to rebel now? Hungarians. We have some people there ready to fight them. Uh, aristocratic coup. I'm not too concerned. Okay. One thing with that though. We can now get five promoted cultures which will give us some more splendor points. Because we still want these two things here. I'm not too concerned about these three. Um, so, we, from now on, when we have too many dip points, we will be promoting silly little cultures that barely even have any right to be in our great empire. Maybe we will want to state some more things, I don't know. Austria is no longer a great power, poor Austria. The Papal State has taken his place. Well done, Papal State. Unfortunately for you, you won't be staying a great power too much longer because I'm going to attack you and crush you. You go here. I need to make sure I grab that. Actually, I think they're already sieging it. No? Yes, they are. Bugger. Um, they may not take it, I guess. send people to as many different provinces as I can and hope that we can occupy as many as possible oh wow the Ottomans really just can't fight us anymore it's just brutal look at that stack wipe not even trying to stack wipe stack wiping anyway Our colony is doing. They're doing all right by the look of it. We will soon. We're more than halfway through Siberia now. Shouldn't take us too much longer to reach the other end. Oh yeah, manufactories. Let's have a look at that. Um, we don't have that many manufactories. We have some. Where did it actually appear? Oh, that's printing press. I mean, there are lots of places it could have appeared because anywhere where someone's built manufactories. They appear in Ming. It has appeared in Ming. That explains why they've embraced it so quickly. Uh, we have it in our capital and it's spreading around quite quickly in a few places. Down Crimea as well. 
It'll take a little while for that to be done though. Maybe once we have our 2,000 dinars, we will go through and see... Ooh! They're not sieging... What's the imaging anymore? Excellent. Um, were you the one that was supposed to go there? Probably. Go there. Apparently you can't. Ah, there's another fort here now. Got it. Okay, so what we want from this guy is basically their coastline. Okay, those are, that's the minimum of what we want to take here. And after that, we just need to be looking to fix a bit of border gore. So we'll just make it even worse by taking that. No. Uh, about there. That will look alright. And then we need to go to war with Kaffa so that we can take Jerusalem and hopefully Mecca as well. Then we'll do a very quick war with Yaman to just take Ma'an and Tabuk. Yeah, man. Nope. No, I shouldn't have even tried that. I, I need to... Eventually, I'll learn not to say stupid things when I'm recording. But that could be far, far into the future. Also, where are... Where's our broken fleet? Here it is. Come here. We almost have enough money to fulfill our mission, which is good. Do I care about any of these? Not really. Found Indian Trade Company. That would be a nice one to have. That will allow us to, because money-wise, what I'm thinking is, we have a guy here in Samarkand. Um, from when we take when we get the Indian Trade Company, we can put a merchant here in Kashmir, and then the rest of these trade nodes down in India can all be pushed into Kashmir, and each one of them will give us a merchant as we turn them into. We'll turn these into trade companies. They'll give us a merchant, so we'll then be able to push tons of trade up India through Kashmir into Samarkand into. Astrakhan, and from there we can completely control the trade. That is how money will hopefully go in the future. Okay, got 94% on this. Let's have a look what we can take. We can take all this, take a bit of money as well, just for the lols. And that is that done with. What's that? I put our overextension at too high, but we're about to finish coring the previous stuff. So that's acceptable. Uh, I think this is the place that just decided to randomly change to Catholic, so we'll just go and call that. Okay, that's done. Now we can attack Katha. Let's also start colonizing here. Katha, who are your allies? Oh man, you guarantee the independence of Yemen. So we may wish to. Oh, we can't attack Yemen until we've beaten up. Kaffa though because we don't border them. Maybe we could force Kaffa to stop guaranteeing Yemen. That might work. Okay, you guys just walk up into our territory and get unblack flagged. Oman will help Yemen. I mean Kaffa rather. Um, I don't think either Kaffa nor Oman is going to be much of a problem for us so we should go straight into the war. Level 2 port here. Let's go and deal with it. And... Those of you who aren't black flagged can get occupying stuff. Uh, once you've become unblack flagged, actually no, you lose all your movement orders when you become unblack flagged, so there's no point in me telling you to do other things yet. He's about to be done. L yes, is the answer. Hungarian separatists managed to spawn just before I finished coring shit and so there's more of them than would otherwise be. Okay, you three. I want a guy here. I want a guy here. And I want a guy here. Hmm. 
They don't have... Most of their forts are down in the Ethiopian area. Um, assuming we... That they, I imagine they have military access through Yemen. Hey, we filled our coffers. Nice. Now I can spend it all. A guy going there. We'll send a guy there. That was just the Hungarian rebels. You guys can split up now and stop taking attrition. Conquest of Siberia. Build plantation. I like these ones. In let's pause. Ah, uh, Dana. Go with that. Plantation, plantation. And let's sort by name. Adana. Go. Then let's sort by income. Okay, we got 25s there. That's a 34. 32s. 26 and 18. Okay. So we'll go with this one. And these ones to help spread the new institution about. Okay, when does something to do with the nobility take their influence down? So hopefully sometime soon. Uh, yeah, recruited minister goes away in October, so we're not going to get their disaster fire on us, which is good. Got any good ones of these? Not really. Any good manpower places? Ooh, Vilna's not bad. Look at that. Now, can I walk through this territory? No, can I get over here? No. But I don't know that for sure until we've finished sieging down this fort here. Okay, now that that's done, can we walk through this territory? No. Okay, so we're going to need military access. Yemen, give me military access. Thank you. Go south. And from here, we can get into all the rest of their territory, assuming that they don't have a fleet blockade the straight, which they probably will. We may end up needing to also get military access through uh, Damot here. Okay, so what the minimum we want here is this. And we would also... Okay, I can't call that stuff, so I can't demand that. So I can only demand stuff up here. Okay, so this is the minimum we want from this. But we'll see how much further we can push it. Because why the hell not? Who's being uppity? The Polish and the Venetians. It's kind of annoying because they're in two different places. Why are the Polish being uppity? Is there some stuff over here that's the wrong religion? That stuff? That shouldn't be a problem. I think I may just push Kaffa for now, just until we can take Jerusalem. Um, having the war continue too much longer doesn't help us out too much, I guess. Instead, we will head over... We'll march our troops back up north. You guys head down here. Yeah, once, we, once we've taken Jerusalem, we'll march our troops back up north and go and attack the Papal State uh, so that we can take Roma sooner. Because after we have Jerusalem, Rome is the only one we will still need to restore the Pentarchy and weaken all of the Catholics. How many men do you guys have? You have quite a few as a whole. Okay, so once we've taken this fort, we should be able to demand Jerusalem. Um, I think I'll also take this. So then we'll border Yemen and we'll also have a port here, which means next time we want to attack Kappa, we'll be able to take Mecca. 
because we'll be able to core it. Now, let's see, just before we end, if we can finish off this war, that'd be very nice. I said that'd be very nice. Whoa, what's going on over here? Is Delhi attacking? Delhi's attacking Persia. That's excellent. Delhi's going to make it so we border them. We won't, we're not going to have to attack Persia again before we can go into Delhi. Although, admittedly, we do need to attack Persia so that we can take control of Samarkand. Because Persia currently are the only ones with greater control of it than we are. And we're not going to be getting much money if we don't have the best control of the node. Okay, how is our spread of oh, manufacturers looking? It's still pretty darn low. I mean, it's spreading to lots of our provinces. But it's going to take time. I didn't realise how few manufacturers we had. Just because nothing is worth anything up in Russia. <laughs> well, you won't agree to this. Are you stupid? The answer is probably yes. Okay, killing some of their men. They can't possibly stand against us because their tech is too low. They're on Miltech 16. Alright, Kappa, give me what I want. I'm demanding less than my war score. Come on, be reasonable here. You clearly don't have a chance at winning this war. The only thing stopping me from doing more than I have done is the fact that I can't get across this straight. Castile is killing some more natives. Good for him. Okay, Kaffa will almost give in to my, I think, very reasonable demands. Admin points or prestige. I'll take the admin, thank you. Prestige, not really a problem for us. The we're maxed out on prestige, and it's not even ticking down. So, <laughs> don't think I really need any more of that. Okay, they'll give me what I want now. Give me some money as well, you silly, silly country. Okay, I can't demand any more money than that. What if I could just demand more territory? Give me this. Yes, give me this. Excellent, we now control the Suez. Which means, later on, we'll be able to build... A nice little canal across there. Oh, 99.4% overextension, just as planned. Did anyone believe that? Maybe? Someone? <laughs> okay, let's bring our men up here. And with that, we're going to end the episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I've been James Rose, and I hope to see you all next time when we finally go and attack the Papal State. We will conquer Roma. We will get all of the holy cities converted to the true Orthodox faith. Look, we even have, like, the longest name now, I think. Maybe Tengri maybe is competing with us, but Tengri... Well, Tengri. Um... Yeah, so hopefully we're, next episode we will restore the Pentarchy. And it will be glorious. Come and join me for that. In the meantime, have a good day. Bye-bye. Helps if I switch to the thing that pauses the recording.